Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how we solve maximum problems in algebra. And true enough, that's typically something you do in calculus, but it turns out that if we deal with quadratic equations, uh, we can do this in algebra as well. So let's read this problem. Here it says that uh, c as a function of x, x representing uh, hundreds of computers, uh, is equal to 0.1x squared minus 0.7x plus 4.5. And that equation represents the average cost per computer in hundreds of dollars when x hundred computers are produced. How many should be produced to minimize the cost? So um, typically we have to come up with the equation ourselves, but here they actually give us an equation and they tell us to minimize or find the minimum cost. So Typically, we would have to decide what's being minimized and cost is being minimized. Cost is being minimized. So always determine what's being maximized and minimized. So minimized. Okay, the second thing you always do is try to find an equation representing the item that's being maximized or minimized. In this case, it's the cost. So cost as a function of x is equal to 0.1x squared minus 0.7x plus 4.5. So in this case, um, we don't have to go and eliminate any variables because C is, is written in only one variable, which is great. So we don't have to find any constraint. That's really good. Uh, the next thing to do is to realize that we're dealing with a quadratic equation, which is represented by a parabola if we, do this, if we draw this graphically. And since the x squared term is a positive, we can then see that the parabola will open upward like this. And it'll be somewhere on the x, y axis, doesn't matter where, we just have to realize it opens upward, which means that there'll be a place somewhere where the minimum value of the parabola can be found, and that would be x sub v, y sub v, meaning x and y, or in this case, not y, but c, are the vertex or the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola, and what we're trying to find is the x coordinate of the vertex in this case. And if we remember right, the equation to find the vertex of the x value, or the x coordinate of the vertex, I should say, x of v, that's equal to minus b over 2a, realizing that a is the coefficient of the x squared term, b is the coefficient of the middle term, and c is the coefficient of the constant. Uh, but, of course, we don't need to see in this particular case. All right, now plugging in what a and b are equal to, a is equal to 0 0.1, b is equal to minus 0 0.7, so x sub v is equal to minus times a minus 0 0.7 divided by 2 times a, which is 0 0.1. So x sub v is equal to 0 0.7 over 0 0.2, and so x sub v is equal to 3.5. So what that means is when x is 3.5, and of course x is hundreds of computers, we should have minimum cost. So therefore, we can say that we need to build 350 computers. And what will then be the minimum cost? Well, we can then plug in the value for x in the cost function. So c, when x is equal to 3.5, is equal to... 0 0.1 times 3.5 squared minus 0 0.7 times 3.5 and then plus 4.5. All right, let's work that out. I think I'm going to grab a calculator to do that. So we have 3.5 squared. We multiply that times 0.1. We subtract from that. 7 times, or 0.7 times 3.5, 0.7 times 3.5, and then we add to that plus 4.5 equals, and so the cost when x is equal to 3.5 is equal to 3.275, which is in hundreds of dollars, so therefore the minimum cost is 327.5 when our production run makes 350 computers, and I guess this is a per day production or something like that. So to maximize profit, you want to minimize cost. To have minimum cost, you want to build 350 computers a day so that your cost will be 
dollars and fifty cents per computer. Notice that if you only build if you build zero computers, your cost will be four hundred fifty dollars per computer. Although that does make a lot of sense, you can see that there's some initial cost to keep the shop running, and that will then be negated by building more and more computers. I would then assume that if you build too many computers, then it becomes very inefficient, and the cost per computer will go back up. That's kind of like a, an industrial equation or an, or an equation that we can use in an industrial setting where we're building or manufacturing something. And it's a very useful, useful way to look at manufacturing costs. All right, so hopefully this helps you. And let me see if I can think of one more example of how to work with max min problems in algebra. All right.